Hey guys, quick follow-up video on the Maverick battery replacement. Um, everything's fixed, running like normal. All those notifications I was getting on my phone about uh, features being disabled because it was trying to preserve battery, <clears throat> all that stuff's gone. And the truck just uh, runs like normal. So definitely if you're getting some of those uh, notifications about battery preservation, um, it's probably your battery's just uh, getting low. And it's probably time to replace um, if you like Google it, it does say go for a long ride and that charges the battery, but I did that and it didn't help. Um, the only thing I would say is when you do replace the battery, um, I did notice that the display settings here, um, they were kind of different than what my normally, what I was normally used to. And that's because when you disconnect the battery, it kind of resets everything to factory. So you have to manually go back <clears throat> and add like different things that you want on your display settings. So normally I have the EV coach. I have the tire pressure gauge, I have like a trip meter, and if you have certain settings that you like to see, you just have to go back and add those. But it was pretty easy, you just hit menu, you hit menu here, and it'll take you to select screens, and then you just manually go in and put the different screens that you want to see while you're driving. But other than that, that was the only thing that I had to change back to normal or change back to the way I had it because when you disconnect the battery and put a new one in it kind of just deletes all those settings but that's about it everything else seems to be functioning normally <clears throat> and I will catch you guys on the next one